Hey and welcome to this tip about making your image pop. Now in the past I've showed you a technique that's actually free called high pass filtering. And one of the nice things about Photoshop, Lightroom and of course nowadays also it's uh, standalone software is that you have these plugins that make your life really easy. Now in the past if you want to make your image pop what would you do? Of course you have to work with light. Lighting is one of the most important things. If you have a totally flat image and you want to make that pop well that's a little bit more difficult. But as soon as you have more contrast in your image and you really want to enhance those details, details in the past you had a plugin called Loser's Art. Loser's Art was one, very expensive, but it did it work really well. However, their customer support really dropped the ball on the Mac support. Because at this moment, if you want to use Loser's Art on a Mac, well, you're actually stuck in 32 bits, meaning you can only use an old version of Photoshop, and we don't want that. So after that, I started using stuff like Nick and their tonal contrast. And a while ago, I started experimenting with Topaz Clarity, which I really like. But as you know, with software, there's always something better around the horizon. And a few weeks ago, I got this plugin from a company called MacFun. And before that, I never heard about the company. But this is awesome, and I want to show you guys this. So let's see, we have this image from Marie with the sun in the back, really high contrast image. Now, I'm using the plugin, and they also have a standalone version, but I always like to work from Photoshop. So let's make a duplicate layer. We just drag it here. We go into Filter. And we go into MacFun Intensify Pro. It starts up the filter. And there we go. Now, the first thing you see is presets when you normally start it. And you can go through all these preset presets. I always call it the clickety-click until you see what you like stuff. But let's start with a very simple one. I call it Zeroed. Now, if you click here, you can actually go into all these settings. You can change your contrast, exposure, you can use Pro Contrast, for example, if you want to add a little bit of contrast to the highlights or to the midtones. This is pure contrast. And this is already pretty cool because now you can add your contrast on separate levels. But where it gets really interesting is here in the structure. For example, you can add a little bit more pop to the sky or to the shadow areas. And of course, you can go overboard, but I wouldn't advise that because that looks not no, it's not natural anymore. So I have to go here. And of course you can also go into micro contrast, which really pops those images in the sky. There we go. And the shadows can be a little bit less. And of course you can see a before and after. And you can really see that that sky gets its move. Now one of the things that I really like about this one is that you can also work with layers. Now, you see here, you see layer zero. Now, if I add another layer, I can, for example, say, you know what? I want to add a little bit more contrast to the image. I really want to make it dark. So, add a little bit of contrast. The only problem is I'm losing Marie's face. And now comes the fun part. You go into the eraser, and you can actually erase away parts of the layer. Pretty nice, right? Because now you can see before and after. You can really work with layers. Now, of course, you can do this in Photoshop. The nice thing to have it in your plugin is that you can actually start adding detail. And maybe you want some detail more on one area of the image and a little bit less detail on the other area. Normally, if you do it with layers in Photoshop, you can, of course, use the Hide All or Reveal All. But sometimes you have to go into the plugin two or three times. And that saves a lot of time when you can do the layers actually inside the plugin. So, okay, now this is nice, right? But let's say I want to make it black and white. So we go here, we can actually pull down the saturation, and we have a pretty cool black and white version. Now, the layer I already created, so now I can start working with the overall tone of the image. And I can actually decrease the contrast or exposure. And it actually works together with this layer. So in other words, if I remove the layer, you can see that the outer areas are masked. However, when I select this one, 
it will actually influence the whole image including this part of course you can create another layer on top of this one let's say we want that there we go we add a little bit more contrast but I don't want it inside this part so again we're going to use the eraser tool and remove it now normally this would mean that I have to go into Photoshop a few times to change my layers and I don't want to do that so I have everything inside my plugin which I really like so let's look a little bit about the presets they give you this is my own preset I use now if you say the effect is a little bit too much what you can actually do is remove the amount so edit to your taste now this is something that I do like to do in Photoshop so in other words I will make it as close as possible as I like it and then in Photoshop I will actually create the final adjustments with the opacity slider okay let's say apply and of course by the way you can also use gradients there we go now one of the problems you have when you use plugins like this is that you will actually also enhance the dust now these images because we're shooting with strobes straight against the Sun you will actually get a lot of sensor dust showing up on the image now in the past what you would actually do is you would go to 100 percent you would go into an area where there's a lot of dust let's say here you take your healing brush it would just select clone select uh, sorry heal of course select heal and it takes a lot of time now you know that Photoshop uses something called content aware fill right now, content aware fill is very very cool especially if you start using it like this you go to your brush and you go into your quick mask you take a brush that will take up at least twice the amount of the dust soft brush and you will just paint over the dust okay so now we did a lot of those dust marks now we exit the filter we do select inverse and we just press delete content aware fill and there we go instead of clicking every time and uh, healing the part we now actually just selected everything and use content to wear. This saves you a lot of time, especially if you have a lot of dust on your sensor. And again, we're shooting this stuff on 32, F22. So every single particle of dust you will have on your sensor will show up. So this is my tip today for showing you how to enhance your image. And Intensify Pro, you can find it on the Mac Fun website. And when you go to my own website, www.frankdorhoff.com, there's a special uh, page with all the links to the Mac Fun software. And at this moment, it's without any doubt my favorite plugin to make your images pop. And they're very cheap. And because I'm Dutch, well, <laughs> we like cheap software, especially when it performs like this. So have fun and see you next time.